In the bonus tools modeling submenu, there are a number of tools that are uh, related. Delete edge tool, delete vertex, spin edge, inside into quad, poke, and subdivide tools are all actions uh, that are, are things that are traditionally actions in Maya that have been converted into interactive tools. So for instance, if I wanted to delete some edges on this object, simply go into delete edge tool. It will give me a simple heads up display indicating that I need to select some edges to delete. And now as I go in and begin to select edges, you'll notice that every time I click on an edge, it will automatically delete that edge. Now it also deletes the corresponding vertices. So if I were to go in, for instance, and delete this edge, then it deletes that interior vertice as well. So another related tool is a tool called Delete Vertex Edge. Delete Vertex Edge will actually delete all of the connected edges for a given vertice. So if I go into this tool, it'll convert me into vertex mode. And then if I click on a vertex, it'll automatically delete that vertex and any associated edge with that vertex, allowing me to quickly and easily pull out detail of an object. Now a companion tool to these is a tool called Inside to Quad, which will basically allow you to convert any quad, or rather any, any inside into a quad. So if I click here, it'll automatically convert that into a quad. Likewise, if I click here, it'll automatically convert that into a quad. Now you can see, depending on the layout, I may have edges that need to be spun in different directions. So I can go into the, whoops, so I can go into the Spin Edge tool and just click on edges and interactively begin to spin those edges around in order to change the flow of a given surface, like so. And you can continue to click until you get something like that. Lastly, uh, there is uh, an additional tool called Poke and Subdivide. These are very straightforward. The Poke tool will just basically allow you to poke a single face and split that at the center point of that face whereas the subdivide tool will allow you to select multiple faces. So I can select one face, another, and until I actually hit enter, it will not subdivide. So I'm still in the, the tool mode. When I hit enter, it will actually subdivide from there. So if I were to grab these faces, hit enter, it will subdivide from there. 